Hi everyone, Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Tri Artistry and in today's fluid art video we are going to be doing a triptych flip cup, 15 cups to be exact for the entire project, but a flip cup for landscaping. I'm going to actually create something similar to what I created back here. Each canvas I did separately and so each one I had to organize how I was gonna flip the cups and which colors I was going to do. And so for this first one, I'm gonna show you the very first canvas I did, which happened to be the center one, and how I layered my cups as well as what colors I used and how I went about doing the technique. So here is the final result for the middle one. Um, it is intended to have been a sunrise. I wanted a little bit more pink. I still love this, don't get me wrong, but I wanted a little bit more pink in it. And then I also created a little bit of orange reflection from then there's the horizon there. And I'll show you how I make my horizon straight also in this video. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get you down on the canvas and please don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell. That way you can get notified when I have a new video up. And let me know down below what you thought about the video and what you thought about the techniques that I used and maybe some ideas that you have in order to create these beautiful flip cup landscape masterpieces. All right, well, let's get you down on the canvas. Bye for now, bye. Hi everyone, all right, so, as I said in the intro, we are going to be doing a uh, flip cup, and it is going to be a landscape for a sunrise. And I've got everything right here situated, to exactly how I would like to do the sunrise and I'll show you the picture that uh, is my inspiration that I got and so you can see that but I will have three of these so we'll start with the first one the first one will actually be the center one and then I'll be moving them from uh, there going from right to left it doesn't matter but I have everything already planned out and all the cups filled <clears throat> right here as you can see, all of the cups are filled, uh, already layered with the colors that I wanted for each canvas. So this is one canvas, this is two canvas, this is three canvas, and then the white is for my um, waves and the uh, Payne's Gray is for my horizon. So I already have the cups filled and like I said, this is going to be the um, middle one and the middle one has a different cup because of the sun that is in the center so that is rising on the horizon so um, so this one right here is a 16 by 40 and the other two will be 16 by 40s as well which creates a 4 by 5 um, triptych really if you put them all together but of course you'll put um, space in between them. So this is that. I have it leveled. It's right on par for where it needs to be. And so uh, we are ready. I've got my drying areas ready. This is a big day today because I not only have this triptych that I'm doing, but I'm doing the same thing on a 36 by 48 that I'll show in another video later. All right, well, let's get started with this first one. So this is the center cup. This is the um, sunrise and it's going to be slightly down here and then this is the ocean with the a little bit of the sunrise in it reflected in the water here is the ocean on the bottom then we have the sunrise above it in the pinks and the purples and then we have mostly blues and some purples and some pinks up here. So those will be our five that we do for this one. And then I will add in the horizon and waves, okay? So I will put those off to the side here because I will be using those later. And I'm gonna get these ones out of the way so I don't trip up and spill them. That's the last thing that I wanna do. Actually, I think I'll move myself down a little bit. 
And then I'll move the camera down just a bit. And then we'll get started. All right, moved us down just a little bit so that way I have more room over there. Okay, so the first one I wanna flip is the sunrise. And the sun, I mean, and the sun one, I'm just gonna pull up. I'm not gonna be sliding it any direction. I'm just gonna pull up. All right, so let's flip this baby over. And then the other thing I wanna do is I'm gonna have my measuring tape, because I'm doing all these separate, that I'm gonna have my measuring tape of where the horizon is gonna be. And I'm gonna put it about, let's see, it's 40. So, um, I don't wanna go 20, I don't wanna go half. I'm gonna go just below that. So we'll say right at either 25 or 26. So we'll see how these go, but it'll be at 25 or 26. And I will just need to remember that for my other one so that they can match up. All right, so then here is the next one. And then here's this one. Okay, so they have to sit for a while because they weren't completely all the way up to the top of the brim. I want the paint to flow down. So, and the first ones I'm gonna do are these ones here. I'm gonna hold this one, tilt a little bit, get some corners done, uh, that type of stuff, and making sure some of the stuff's on the sides before I actually lift this one up. And I probably should have not done this one just yet, but that's okay, we'll, we'll figure it out later. All right, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of this blue and I'm just gonna get my sides here, my corners, I mean, just so that they're done, okay? And there wasn't much that came out here. So I'll use the other blue too. The mix that I used is, today is 10-10, so today is October 10th, 2020. Uh, and this is the mix I use. I mixed it actually this morning. I got up at four o'clock. I couldn't go back to sleep. So I just got up and started working towards this. And it is right now 11 o'clock. So it's taken me that long to get everything organized and ready to go for this project. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring this over here and go that way. I'll bring this one that way and come this way. Ready? Here we go. Probably should have just stayed in the center. There's some air bubbles on here too, so. Anytime you put yellow and blue together, you're gonna get some green. So I did put coral on this, and so it's gonna have some greenish stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna move the paint a little bit down this way. Bring it back this way. Come back this way. down come back go back down 
down. Come back. Okay. Not that way. Let's go up. Kind of cool how that made that like that, but it'll get off of there, so don't worry. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to get some of this blue on the sides. I'm going to leave this like this. Um, then I'll pull that up in a little bit and then we'll switch some stuff around, but I'm going to get some of my blue. Make sure my sides are done. Okay, so that's uh, got the blue sides done. Now I got to come down here and do the ocean, which is some more blue. This will get taken care of by the cup that I'm going to do here in a minute, but that's okay. I want to get it done. Okay. I think everything else is good. All right, let's do this. Now I'm going to torch it to get some rid of some of the air bubbles. So let's get this sun kind of moving. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't like the second cup here, so I'm going to try to get some of this here, and then we're going to get that paint off. of paint and I didn't need this much and I figured I didn't but you just you just never know and so you just want to make sure that you have enough when it comes to making something like this that's looking like it could be the horizon right there instead of having to put the paint's gray Go down a little bit. Over. I think you can still see it when I'm tilting it still, so.
Okay, so I wanted more pink in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this that's down here and I'm going to go through here. Um, and then we'll tilt again, okay? So the reason why I put this orange down here is kind of a reflection of the sun. So that's why I did that. I'll go back down, back that way. I have to do uh, use like a swipe technique in order to completely get that. Hopefully, you can still see that somewhat. Here, you see that better? I'm going to go ahead and get a swiping tool for the orange. I'll be right back.
So now <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit like this, this little orange streak like that <clears throat> over on this side because <clears throat> I really like that. All right. Plus we need to get the other um, back in the center. Well, at least somewhat in the center, like, anyway. So, the reason why I put the paints gray in there was that horizon, and that's given this to me. And it's making it nice and straight. And if you notice, the sun then is reflective in the ocean a little bit, too. Tilt it back a little bit. I really would like to get more ocean here. something in my paint right there. I can see it. Just putting those little drips on there is making like a little bit of a ripple effect, which is kind of cool. So I'll probably come back and do it the other direction now too. See how that did that? Super cool. I'm going to do that over here. Hanging in with me? I know, it's quite a while. So each one of these, um, the next two won't take near as much time as this one did. Although I um, may have to add more orange in that one because I didn't have much orange in the side. So, hmm. yeah, that'll be, so I was expecting this to be more of a circular, but I didn't get it that way. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to take this all the way down to the edge, kind of like this pink race, that orange right there is. just back that way just a little bit and then we should be good on this one. Almost done. Hopefully it looks good when it's finished. So this is almost done. I think I'm pretty much done. Just wanted to tilt this one more time this way. I know I keep saying that, but you know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> but I think the adding the drips of orange and blue have added that kind of that, you know, reflective look of the sun onto the water. So um, I do like that. 
I'm going to take that all the way to the side. Take that drip all the way that weight. There's some paint right here, weight of paint, that I'm going to take it all the way off. And how you look at that is you can see it from, the, you might be able to see it where you're at, but I can see it from the top down, looking down this way. So there it goes over the side. I'm going to get another little bit more. There's some here still. I think I'm going to try to get that over top. And then the reflection will be side to side. One more over there. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to be done with this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in its spot. I don't see anything on the sides that need to be touched up, so that's good. I will just run my finger on the bottom. You can also use a tool if you prefer. You just have to be careful not to, since it's a, a flip cup, that you don't drag a color you don't want. So you've got to like just be right up underneath it. Sometimes the tool is actually better because of that. But you just gotta be really careful. I think this will be pretty when it's done. Um, I wanted it a little bit more. Yeah, I just wanted a little bit more of something else. So, um, but that's okay. It's all good. We'll see what it looks like. All right, I'm going to turn you off and get the second one up here. Bye. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.